welcome back. It was practice day at Quick and Loans Arena for the Sycamores and Orange this afternoon. But what really netted the attention of all on hand in Cleveland were the comments of Syracuse's leading scorer, Chris Joseph. Sports 10's Rick Semler has more from Cleveland. All right, thanks, Ross. You know, ISU and Syracuse have never met in the NCAA tournament. But on Thursday, one of the Syracuse players made some interesting comments, and you have to wonder if there'll be a rivalry brewing Friday night. Both Indiana State and Syracuse practiced Thursday at the Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland for the first time in preparation for their NCAA opening round matchup. The headlines, though, for this game were made off the court by Syracuse's Chris Joseph when he was asked what he knew about the Sycamores team. When I saw we were playing Indiana State, I mean, I knew they weren't a team full of athletes, you know, so the first thing I thought was probably a bunch of white boys that could shoot. Joseph's comments not only created a big buzz with the media, but with the Sycamores as well. Yeah, I guess that is a pretty popular stereotype, but um, I guess me and Jake would like to prove that stereotype right tomorrow. He's right about that with Aaron. I don't know about <laughs> that with myself, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, we do have some shooters on this team, uh, but uh, we're looking forward to uh, playing against that uh, zone that they have and hopefully uh, knocking down some threes tomorrow. Another part of the year where we've been looked down upon. I mean, <laughs> they can think what they want to think. Uh, we just did just go out just, and just show up and just show them what we can do. Uh, I feel like I'm one of the most athletic players in the nation. I can show that. I think they'll be surprised. I, uh, most guys look at me like a, a white boy a shooter too, so, you know. It's whatever. Uh, you know, I don't blame them for thinking that. I would probably think the same thing. But, uh, you know, it's basketball, and they're going to be a little surprised, I think. Yeah, it's kind of soccer, but uh, we, we used to live uh, having any understanding of chess don't really uh, mean anything to anybody. We're just going to try to prove it wrong. Many of the ISU players said that's just another example of how the Sycamore team is getting no respect. They said they plan to do something about that on Friday night. Now, a little over two weeks ago, when ISU won the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament, many of the players said they got a bunch of text messages and phone calls from their friends and families congratulating them. Many of the ISU players said one message stood out to all of them. Indiana State's march to the NCAA tournament has not only been exciting for ISU fans, but to the greatest Sycamore of them all. That's big for us, you know. I'm on the bandwagon. Yes, this year's Sycamore team has made a believer out of Larry Bird. The ISU players said knowing that he is cheering them on really means a lot to them. It's kind of humbling to have, have someone of, of uh, his uh, talent saying that about us. Uh, it doesn't seem like uh, we're that big a deal, but um, so it's... It's cool to have him say that. It's nice that he acknowledged us, and, uh, and uh, it's huge that he's on the bandwagon now. When you think of any state, it's Larry Bird, so uh, to have him supporting us, it's huge for us. Larry Legend said he caught about six ISU games this year, and he really likes the way the Sycamores play. They play so hard, and they're well coached, and uh, usually that's a good combination. I know he follows us. I know uh, Indiana State having su some success is important to him. He takes ownership in this. You know, he's part of the Indiana State basketball family. The next step's a bigger step for him, but uh, we're all proud of him no matter what happens. ISU will go through one more practice here at the Q Arena tomorrow at 10 a.m. It's just a 20-minute workout, and it's their final preparation before they go for real tomorrow night, 9.57 p.m. against Syracuse. Reporting from Cleveland, I'm Rick Simler, Sports 10.